Hey y'all, welcome to a video with Hey It's Anna. So, I've got another little redneck ingenuity for you. Um, this could have been like a duh hello type deal. But, um, I drink sweet tea. It's a staple. Southerner type deal, okay? It don't matter if you're from England. It don't matter if you're from the north, the south, the east, the west, or the high heavens, or the low pits of hell. I don't care where you're from. If you drink tea or anything that has grittiness like tea, then look, the, then this video is for you, okay? So, I finished drinking my tea and washed cups and everything. Got my kids from being sick all over again, but I washed cups. And I'm drinking out of my cup that changes color. So, when it's cold, it turns to purple. And I don't like the straw that came with it because it will not unbend. Anyway. Because it was in, in the package, it was, it was curled in the cup. But anyway, so I gotta rewash the lid because it's sticky. But I poured the rest of the tea from the tea pitcher into the cup and I started drinking. I'm like, oh, yay, tea. Nope, it was, it had bits of um, tea leaves or whatever in it from the tea bag. Apparently, a tea bag busted. So anyway, this cup right here is serving the purpose, and I'll explain that in just a second. So anyway, I'm like, let me filter the tea so I can get all the tea bit pieces out. And I'm over here wasting tea. And this paper towel is just a dripping, dripping, dripping. So I put it paper towel over this cup. And it's just a dripping tea. So I'm like, I am wasting my damn tea. So anyway, I'm like, I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Cheesecloth. Use a cheesecloth when you are filtering almost anything. I have, we haven't tried it on grease, but it might be a good idea for grease. But, specifically in my case, I was filtering the tea bits out of the cup that I had. So, instead of wasting a paper towel and the mess getting everywhere, use a cheesecloth, put it inside your cup, and let it drip. And you're good to go. So now, I can take my freshly filtered tea, put it back in my cup, and put it in the fridge after I wash my cup all over again because it's all sticky now. But, any hoozy, I figured I would let you know. To use a cheesecloth if you're trying to filter something that you cannot filter with paper towel. So, um, my next try would be to do it on grease. Like, if I need to filter the grease where you can, well, it's not on the stove yet, it's in the oven to, for clean reasons. But, if you need to filter something, use a cheesecloth. It does really good. It does more than just strain cheese juice or cheese water or whatever you're making it with. It does better... For pasta reasons, cheesecloth can be a multi-purpose. It's not just for the sake of its name, cheesecloth. It's not just for cheese. I've strained tea with it, and when the bag busts, I've strained it into the tea pitcher. I've done so many things with it, but I'm transferring over to a Sprite because this dark drink is hurting my insides. I've got stomach ulcers. But anyway, long story short, use a cheesecloth. Until then, it's been a video with Head Santa. I will see y'all in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you really like my content and my little helpful tips. Until then, peace.